Hello friends, welcome once again to our CK Editor tutorial. It has been a while, uh, but uh, a lot has been going on, but now uh, we are back to yet another uh, video uh, on CK Editor tutorial. Uh, in this video, we are going to be fixing some uh, of the errors we had from our previous video. In the last video, we had created our contact form and uh, we implemented a CK editor into our contact form and uh, we also uh, uploaded an image, created an upload. Uh, okay. Uh, and also created uh, an upload image but uh, we have an error here whereby if we insert an image into our uh, CK editor we get uh, an empty image so we get an empty image tag so in this video we are going to be fixing this so that we can uh, access the image, the uploaded image URL. And uh, another issue that we have is uh, if we can go back to our uh, upload image. If we upload an image, it uh, it generates for us a temporary image with this uh, file name. So in this video we are going to also fix uh, the image name by uh, renaming this uh, generated temporary uh, image into uh, the original file name. Okay. So that having said, please uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you have not subscribed on my channel, go ahead and click that subscription, that subscription button in the corner, and then you receive all the latest video that I will be posting. Okay, so that having said, we are going to continue from where we left off from the previous uh, video. So we'll use this same code. And uh, if you have not watched the previous video, please go ahead and watch so that you can follow along uh, on this uh, part of the video. Okay. So in this case scenario, first of all, we are going to start uh, by uh, importing two uh, packages. So we are going to start by fixing the file naming in, in our project so that we get the original file name of the image into our uh, server. Okay, so we'll start by defining some variables here and one of them will be a temp file. Temp file will equal to the request body the request.files.upload and uh, another uh, variable will be uh, temp path 5 which will be good so that having defined uh, let's go ahead and create a constant variable which will be target path URL and that will be path dot
good. So having created uh, our path to our uh, uploads folder. So this folder is the one which is going to contain the, the renamed files or you can say the converted uh, files from these ones. So it's where we are going to basically be saving our images. Good. So that having said, we we'll then start by an if statement here. Say path if path dot So basically here what we have done is uh, we are checking if uh, the original file name contains either a PNG or a JPEG. So here we have, we have specified only two types of the images that we can upload. So if, if another uh, file extension is uploaded the image won't be renamed, but it will be uh, uh, created into our uh, temporary folder, which is images. So these are the file extensions that uh, file types that we are going to be uh, allowing in our CK editor. You can add in more image types. So if that one is true, then we'll, here we we'll rename our file. So if error, okay. So let's save and go and check from our browser and see what we have. Good, so if we upload an image right now, let's say we uploaded uh, this one, feature. And uh, we get an error here. Let's uh, check that error. Okay, path argument must be of type string. Okay. Uh, let's go back and uh, uh, this has to be equal to so let's, let's uh, check once more Sorry, so this was supposed to be file, file name, yeah. So let's check that one once more. Good, so our image has been successfully uh, uploaded. Okay, so let's go on to the server and check that. And uh, if we check uploads, we have our image right there. So uh, if we check into the temporary folder, OK, 
okay successfully uploaded so let's go to our folder in uploads we have our image right there so in our temporary folder we don't have the image because it has the uh, the criteria that we specified good so this is our temporary path to the image and this is our original uh, file name of the image good so we have successfully uh, renamed our image so instead of having these temporary files okay so now we have finished renaming our image so let's go ahead and uh, fix the path to our image that we have uploaded so that we can access it uh, right here okay so uh, we'll do so by uh, just coming here where we rename our image and then we'll create say race dot status and if our status, if we have a successful response, which is 200, uh, then we'll create a JSON object. Okay, let's just define something here. Let's say maybe our URL is localhost 300. Um, then we pass in our image uh, a path, which is that one. Okay, let's say that is our URL. Let's save and then check out and see. So our image, uh, we have an error here. Okay, and our image is successfully uploaded. Let's go to the console. And when you go to the console, you see we get our uh, path to the image that has been uploaded. But then we have an issue uh, here whereby uh, the CK editor can't detect the image uh, URL that has been passed in here. So how do we solve this uh, issue? So uh, such that when we upload an image, uh, it's being displayed here and uh, also the path to the image is being uh, uh, inserted in, in here. So let's go to the HTML element and uh, inspect that and see what we have okay yeah good so here you see that we have this source uh, image url which is inserted in here but then this image is not being detected the source so how do we solve that uh, let's go back to our project so the simplest way to uh, to solve this is by uh, telling uh, express that this is the folder where our this is our main folder where images are stored if an image is being inserted into our 
uh, image tag and that image will act as our URL source. So uh, Express will automatically detect that image. So instead, instead of us uh, passing in the custom URL, uh, we'll just uh, tell Express that this is the folder where our images are going to be stored. So we do so by saying app dot uh, use and that's all that we need save and uh, here we'll remove this and uh, we'll just have uh, So we just have uh, temp file and temp file dot original uh, file name and that will act as our URL. So when we save and then go back to our uh, so let's upload another image here good you see our image has been successfully uploaded is detected and here is the image uh, path so in this video, we have successfully created, uh, fixed our image URL and uh, uh, image path in React.js using our CK editor. So, see you in our next video.